I'm a sculptor. My name is Laura Ellen Bacon and I'm spending some time at the Holborn Museum this June creating a really large installation across the facade of the museum. Uh, we're a couple of days into the project today and things are going really well. I've got a wonderful team of volunteers who are helping me create the entire sculpture in several hundred sections actually and we're all poised on the lawn at the front at the moment making these um, sections from Somerset Willow which will be lifted onto the facade uh, piece by piece over the next few days and over the next few weeks. The work's called Murmuration as with any of my work, it's an abstract form, but it's meant to feel as if it is um, embracing and growing upon the structure of the building. Uh, in the case of murmuration, it's going, I want it to feel as if it's in flux and as if it does have um, a movement within it. Uh, and I've taken my cue from starling murmurations and the way that they swell and contract and spread and although it's not a copy of a starling murmuration I'm trying to achieve that sense of flow and movement and flux in the work and I'm able to do that I hope with the technique that um, I'm using with the material. What I try and do in my work is use the material in a very simple and very pure way and I like the pieces to convey all of this movement and a natural sense of the form being there. The form has to have a reason to be there. But of course, when you're uh, engaging the use of a building, there's various things that um, I want to adhere to. And fixing and entwining work onto a facade um, it's quite complicated actually and what's complicated is trying to make the work feel completely at home and the work here on the facade should feel like it's sweeping through the facade and not feel fixed and poised and held so the considerations that are in my head really are um, there are some logistical reasons about height and weight and fixed points and things but it's more than that it's about trying to make the work feel free uh, the work needs to feel like it's been brought to the facade with its own energies, if you like, and it needs to feel it needs to feel at home there. It, it needs to be needs to be sighted and positioned quite intelligently so that um, it feels at home. And it's really hard to make something feel very natural. It's the hardest thing um, trying to make something feel at one. So that's my challenge really. It can be a bit of a self-conscious process making something which is so highly visual, uh, can be seen from so many different angles while it's being made because it's, it's such a luxurious thing to be able to unveil a finished work because everything is finished and it is out, is meant to be seen in its finished state. But um, I mean, I'm quite used to it now, but um, I'm just very aware as ever really that the work will be seen in all of these different stages um, and obviously there'll be people that are just passing and have no idea obviously what's being made and there'll just be these very strange hopefully intriguing I hope that anyone that comes through the gardens will just be naturally intrigued but um, there'll be moments where it just looks really strange or it just looks uh, if people do know what's going on, they'll think, gosh, it just looks so um, thin. How is that, you know, how, where is the strength going to come from? But it will come from the accumulation and the, the constant um, daily uh, application of all of the layers and the twists and the knots. Um, it will emerge in its shadows and its depth um, in the fullness of time. So people should definitely come and have a look. Um, come and walk through the gardens and have a cup of tea and uh, see what changes we're making.